everyone and welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's video, we are going to continue our discussion about the VBA macros. So basically in today's video, we are going to discuss about the structure of this Microsoft Visual Basic for Applications editor. This is the editor that you get uh, if you want to write any VB code to manipulate the macros, to write the macros, to edit them or to do anything related to macros. If you want to do coding part, then you got to come to this thing that is Visual Basic for Applications or VBA Editor. So uh, in the previous video, we have already seen that how can we open it once we are in Microsoft Excel sheet. But for your reference, I'm just going to show you again. So this is your Microsoft Excel sheet. You can just go to the developer tab and click on Visual Basic to open it. Or simply you can use the shortcut key that is Alt F11 to open this thing. Now, once you have opened it, since I have created one macro for my sheet already, so I'm getting this code of the macro. Now, what I did, I recorded the macro using the GUI steps or the front end of Microsoft Excel. But what I am getting over here is the code written. So this is basically the code that is uh, actually acting between uh, behind the steps that I followed. This is uh, the code that I was not concerned with while following those steps, but actually Microsoft Excel has written this code for me and has stored in this VBA sheet. So if you have knowledge of it, you can edit it, you can make changes to it. Okay. Now, first of all, let us make ourselves familiar with this window. Uh, this is the kind of the thing that you get to see. First of all, you can see this file, edit, view, all these things. It is the menu bar. Then the next is this toolbar, which has these different kinds of tools. Like you can use the save option. Uh, you can find, you can undo, you can redo. From here, you can run your code, you can uh, break it, you can reset the code and all these basic tools are available to you in the toolbar. Also, it gives you the current cursor location that is it is in the 17th line column 23. If you see right now, it is over here. So this is the actual position on the cursor given to you as well. Now here, if we come to the left hand side, the first thing that we get has a heading called project. Uh, VBA project. So this is basically known as if you just go to the view tab, then this is known as the project explorer. Uh, this is a shortcut for it. Control R. This is the project explorer. Okay. Now what does it do? It gives you a listing of all the things that you have. If we just go back to our Microsoft Excel workbook then the name of the workbook that i have is book one and it has three sheets sheet one sheet two and sheet three so these are the three sheets now if i just come back to this vba uh, what i get is a list of all these things vba project is book one and then it has some microsoft excel objects so sheets are basically objects of the workbook sheet one sheet two and sheet three Okay, if I just double click on this sheet three, then you can see this thing changes. Simply, if you just double click on book one, uh, this is this workbook, then this thing is also blank. But if you just double click on module one, then you have got the code of macro. So uh, the basic idea is this is actually a code pane that enables you to write a code corresponding to a particular sheet, corresponding to a particular workbook or corresponding to a particular module. So whatever code you write here is going to be executed in that particular thing. OK, now what happens if I just go back to my Microsoft Excel and I try to create a new workbook? So for that, I go to file. I go to new and I want to create a new blank workbook which has a name book two and it has sheet one. So I'm going to add some more sheets. Suppose I have total five sheets, sheet one till sheet five and there is another workbook book two. Now if I go to this uh, VBA editor, then you can see over here I have got two workbooks. First is book one. Second is book two. In book two, you can see there are five sheets, sheet one till sheet five. And in this book one, uh, there are sh uh, three sheets. Okay. 
so basically whatever objects that are opened right now would be shown over here in the project explorer panel of vba it helps you to take an idea or make an understanding that what objects are open right now and like book 2 or a particular workbook contains how many sheets okay now if i just close this book 2 and click on don't save then what happens is i go to vba back and you can see that vba project book 2 has been removed and only book 1 is present with its sheets okay now uh, this uh, vba project enables us to also add macros like we were when we were creating the first macro over using gui what we did was selected its scope as this workbook so what it did was it enabled this module 1 to be uh, stored under this book 1 which means that this module 1 or this macro 1 can only be used in book 1 and outside book 1 it has no existence okay now this is module 1 what if you want to add some objects all these objects are actually added dynamically using microsoft excel but what if you are in vba and you want to add some objects then how can you add it you can see there is this insert tab if you just click on it and you can see all these options are available to you what all you can add you can add a user form you can add a module and you can also add a class module so i'm going to just click on module and it has added another module known as module 2 so uh, this way you can add as many modules as you want like you can just go to insert module insert module insert module insert module and so on okay now once you are in module 1 and you go to the insert tab you can see this procedure is disabled similarly if you are in module 2 again this procedure is disabled but okay if your focus is not in any of these modules like right now and you go to the insert tab then also you can add a procedure to it now what is the usage of this procedure this procedure enables us to perform a particular function like macros are a list of instructions or they consist a number of instructions that are recorded and they are basically stored in modules so that is similarly the work of the procedure sim uh, a simple definition of a procedure is like if you want to perform some actions again and again and again like uh, you are going to use uh, something you are going to perform addition over the data again and again then you can store it in a procedure and use that procedure in each and every macro that would help you to just write the code once and use it again and again and again as many times as you want without having to write it again and again saving you the development time and also reducing the length of your code so this is how you can add a procedure what things it asks for you is first of all it asks for a name uh, suppose name it as procedure underscore one okay then it asks for a type uh, it could be a sub procedure it could be a function or it could be a property uh, it is always advisable to go for a sub procedure in vb but it may change as per your wish or as per the needs of the code that you are writing then it asks for a scope public scope or a private scope public scope means it is accessible anywhere and private scope means it has a limited scope so uh, i'm going to keep these default settings and i'm just going to click on okay then you can see what it has done is it has written this public if i had chosen private it would have written private over here since it is a sub procedure so it has, has written sub so that is how the procedure is created okay so uh, this is the procedure um one and you can write any code over here and then you can call this procedure anywhere that you want uh, and whatever the steps are there would be replicated over there 
so this was all about this uh, vba uh, project that is the project explorer there are other windows uh, or other parts of this vba as well uh, which we would be discussing in the next video that is all for today's video i hope you all have enjoyed it and learned something new so thanks for watching the youtube channel programming knowledge